name is Gerson Nicky Martinez. I was born in Vieques, Puerto Rico, and I've lived here from since I was three years old, St. Croix. I started fishing commercially in 1992. Okay, my family, um, you, all of my siblings, um, we have three boys and two girls. The three boys, we are all fishermen. My name is Gerson Martinez Jr. I'm here from St. Croix. I grew up fishing since I was a kid. Professionally, I started when I was 18, when I graduated from high school. I was a helper with Jose Alberto Sanchez, who teach me line fishing. He teach me how to mend nets. He teach me how to travel to the channels, which buoy to go, and what side of the channel to go in, and what side of the channel to go out. He was a person that took his time. He did not just use you as a helper. He explained every step of all the, the process of whatever fishing technique we were doing that day. He was like a father and a teacher at the same time. I had a lot of questions about fishing. I used to go around the old guys and ask them how to build packs, how to set the nets, how to mend the nets. And it was a passion. And my mom used to tell me, they used to take me fishing sometimes in the road, and I guess I fell in love with that. When I started going out with him, it was like a whole new world, seeing St. Croix from the water, not St. Croix towards the water. Um, it was a great experience. It's something that I would like my grandchildren to practice too, fishing. My dad, when I was growing up, he already started fishing. He used to work in the refinery, but he came out and he started working as a fisherman. And since I was about four or five, we would go out on the boat. I used to fish on weekends and make more money on the weekends than what I used to work the whole week in the refinery and decided, told my wife, I don't think I'm going to quit my job, I'm going to fish, you know. And the first, week, the first year was hard, getting clients, um, getting your product moved. When I was growing up, we started by him taking me out in the afternoons and we would line fish for an hour or two and then come back in. He taught me the trade. He taught me different ways and different types of fishing so I could choose what I like. I like line fishing. I like dealing with traps, but I love to dive. We are fishing right now for, for lobster and queen conch. That's our main catch right now. We catch a lot of virgin stoppers, white grunts, surgeon fish, one or two red tail parrot fish. I'm glad that he got me into it because I love fishing. It's always been my passion since I was a kid. But he never let me go until I did my work for school. But he never let me give up on my education. Due to hurricanes here in the islands, the structure and the sea have changed a lot. I cannot say if I say that fishing is the same I would like. The fish change according to the how hurricane season treats us. The environment and the grounds, everything has changed due to hurricanes, the surges, stuff like that. Everything changes. Whenever there's a hurricane, the grounds change drastically. I encourage future generations, if you fish smart and if you fish with awareness of the future, we can have, we could continue fishing for generations to come. If you want to be a fisherman professionally, you have to be on your stuff and on your gear every day. It's a lot you have to invest in order to make out with what you need, what you want to prosper in life. You have to invest greatly. The wire, the gear, the stuff. A lot of people don't like that. They just think you're going to go out to sea and make a couple bucks. They don't want to keep up with the work, the long hours, waking up every day at 4 o'clock, working out, going out there, pulling traps, dealing with all of that. Fishing is something you have to want. If you bring up your kids doing that and they like it, they're going to continue doing it like me. I always, from small, wanted to go. I would cry if he wouldn't let me go out to sea. It's mostly what I've done most of my life. So I appreciate that I was taught. I appreciate that I was into the business. And eventually if I go on my own, I know what I have to do. And 
I can take care of myself and my family. I learned fishing through Mr. Sanchez. And I guess my son is going to carry the torch of, of this family. And I was telling my son, if I pass, you have two boats, you have that gear in the water, you can maintain this family, pay the bills, and you can live comfortable. It has money in this industry. You just have to respect the future of the fisheries. I always say, take what you need and leave some for tomorrow.